Hello everybody, I'm Deus Deacon and welcome back to Condemned Criminal Origins. Now, why am I on the main screen, you might ask? Well, it's because uh, where I last left off, it was at the end of a chapter. So if I started the chapter, it would be right in the middle of a cutscene. So hopefully, when I click load game, it should go straight into the cutscene. We shall see. Yesterday, Police Commissioner announced his plans to take back the destabilized zones of the city. Which, from what I can tell, is just the entire city. Because it's a shithole. Anyway, let's go. Yes, cutscene. With Malcolm Van Horn. So why are you in on this? I have... Uh... A sense of responsibility. I needed to help. Help? You mean with my investigation? Yes, among other things. <laughs> there was a time I thought I was the best investigator the Bureau ever had. Now it seems they were interested in me for other reasons. What do you mean? I saw my file. Apparently I'm some sort of circus freak to them. Hmm. That may not be helpful. I wonder how much they know of what is happening. I would stay away from the Bureau as long as I could. It's not like I have much choice, since they still think I killed those two officers. Their deaths and about a thousand homeless people, but never mind. Maybe it's best this way. Best? You seem to know a lot more about what's happening than you're letting on. This is Appleseed Orchard Estate. Stay on your toes. I'll drop you off at the house and head over to the barn. I'll meet up with you later. Oh. Ominous camera angles. Apparently the sun is exploding outside. And here we go. We are in the farmhouse. And there is already fucking noises. Yeah, this is where it gets kind of really interesting, actually, because this is the most interesting part of the entire game. I mean, that's not really the best thing to say, considering this is the last level, but it's interesting. Because we have this. Through the valley of shadow of death, I will spare no evil. We're connected. Go ahead. Ooh, there we go. Didn't even get all that in shot, but never mind. Oh, that's, that freaked me out there for a second. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. The dark path to righteousness. And then squiggly, squiggly, squiggly everywhere. We have to follow each of these. There's four of them. To find um, parts of this riddle for some bizarre reason. I don't know why. Well, this is what we have to do. And we will go this way first. Oh, and he's laid on snacks. How nice. And yeah, it does kind of do dick moves like this, right? Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? That'll do. I think I remember where they all are, so it doesn't really matter to follow them. But it also gets crazy because there's a shit ton of guys in this chapter. I'm just going to close that. And yeah, I mean, this is very, very close to looking like the, the house in... Resident Evil 7. You have to admit that. Um, I think it's here somewhere. Is it here? No, oh, I guess not. I must be misremembering. Uh, oh, you're going back on yourself, you bastard. It is down here. Oh, yeah. Turn the lights off. It doesn't, it doesn't really need to do that. These are numbers, I just noticed. They're starting to de degenerate into just numbers. Ah, here it is. Beyond which you... Hmm. 
Now. A. What the fuck? Okay, that's a bit of a fuck up. The, <laughs> the door just came off in my hand. That's not supposed to happen. Let's just see if we can push it back in. Okay, maybe not. That's just going to be there, is it? Okay. It's a bit of a fuck up. We're not going down in the basement, thank you. Because I know what's down there. Can't go through there. Where was this? There's two upstairs and two downstairs, if I remember correctly. I need a crowbar for that, but why would I need to open that with a crowbar? Crowbar's the best weapon. Uh, oh, I need to open this. This will be coming very useful later. Yeah, and it, 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 yeah. Yeah, there you go. It goes in through the... Why, why, why this is here, I don't know. There we go. And it goes up. We'll take the sledgehammer, though. Because it's better than the bolted piece of wood. And now I forget where this one is. Wait, this is going... Okay. Oh, okay, that's the one that goes upstairs. Okay, well, we'll leave that one for now. That's the one that goes upstairs. There's... there's that was another one that goes upstairs. We followed that one, so I guess we'll follow this one. Ah, goddamn table! Okay. This is... What the hell? Okay. Hang on. I'm, I've gotten kind of confused here. That's the one I was following. This is the one that I should have been following. Oh, yeah. Fuck. This is the one that goes down goddamn stairs. Right. This is not fun, this. I don't want the fucking plank there. I'll take that, because it's too slow. Sledgehammer's too slow. Oh! Fuck me! Scared the shit out of me, you son of a bitch. And yeah, they will keep spawning. So you have to be quick. By the way, the puzzle leads us to here. Spoilers. I'll need that. Is. Fuck! Son of a bitch! Stop it! Get back here, you fucker! Son of a bitch! Right, we have that. So let's get the fuck out of here. Told you I'd need it. <laughs> And they will continue to spawn, somehow, like I said, bastards, fuck off. But they won't come upstairs. <laughs> yeah, see, they'll just, <laughs> they'll just gather at the bottom and kill each other. <laughs> there you go, fuck off. Bastards. That's going to get fucking distracting. Well, yeah, we don't need to go down there for a while now, because the other two are upstairs. I'm trying to get my bearings. Well, yeah, and, and I may have mentioned this in another part, but I do believe that Condemned is the reason we have great horror games today, because everything that horror games do, from Outlast to Resident Evil 7 to... Um, anything. I can't even mention anything. I can't remember to think of the others. What the fuck was that? Um, so yeah. Resident Evil 7 and Outlast, I reckon. Uh, why am I, why would I turn the lights off? It's stupid. Right. There's one here. It's 
steam pipe. Yes. Oh, there it is. Ah, yes, this is the one. In the, this is the one in the cupboard. I'm not going to take the sledgehammer. I don't want the sledgehammer. It's too slow. Okay. Why would this guy put this shit here? It makes no sense. Narratively. And there's another one. Somewhere. Ah, oh, you fuckers. Alright. Get the sledgehammer quickly. I hate the key weapon system. There he is. There's one in the uh, attic. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Right. Okay. We have to, I think, yes, go into the attic. Now, this is problematic because I remember distinctively that it is possible to get a game breaking bug up here. Because it goes all wibbly wobbly. Um, and it fails to open the way for you if you do it in a certain wrong order and I can't remember what that order is so we might be fucked <laughs> plenty of snacks though right I gotta, I gotta look for the thing in the jiggy where are we ah there it is right this way this way Oh fuck. It's. It's the piercer from hell. That's. Ca that's. That's fucking badass capoeira though. Fuck off. <laughs> yes. Sticks. The sticks are fucking awesome. I love the sticks. And I will. Continue to kill that guy for as long as possible because his sticks are pretty damn good. Now. Hmm. Can I hear footsteps? No, okay. Hmm. I'm sensing an issue. Because if you go along here, it goes into there. Now, for some reason, that has not opened up. It's supposed to go through there. Meh. I do love how these things are called just sticks as well. Now, if I go down here, I'm just checking. Yeah, the door's blocked. Yeah, okay. I can definitely hear footsteps now. Don't need health. Good. Okay. Yes. I think you can hear it in my voice. The my the pff, we might be fucked sound in my voice. Cuz now we're trapped up here. And I don't know why or what for. Okay, there we go. Fucking thing. So there you go. There's 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 a bit of a glitch right there. Um Basically, we're supposed to come in here, uh, Metal Face attacks us, we kill him, and then this magically opens. Unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't magically open at the right amount of time, so you have to wait around. Bit of a bastard. So yeah, that's, that's basically what happened there. I told you, I told you, I was not... Wrong button, I was not bullshitting there. Right, and now we are... Ah, okay, I know where we are. Uh, tool. Those. Ah, that's right. Open the bench. 
And there's the last bit. Thus ends the calm part of this chapter, because now it gets fucking crazy and irritating. Will I have my stick? Ooh, it's a riddle. I'm running the phrase through lexical databases, but really? Continue searching the house. A basic it's knowledge of riddles, good. and you'll be fine. This is the FBI, for fuck's sake. Uh, whoa, Jesus. <laughs> At least they don't open. That's that's interesting, actually. So, yeah. This is one of the few games where I've seen doors have, don't have, like, magically two-way hinges, you know? So, yeah, we go down here. Wait for it. Now we have to go down to the basement, because I told you. We have to... The door is still fucked up. Oh, I hear movement. Yep. Alright. Let's not try and, uh... What the fuck? Get ambushed when we're trying to take fucking... Evidence. Let's wait a bit. But they should start spawning. I'm not sure if they start spawning as soon as you step into the basement. But look at this. There's four guys just here alone. Where do they keep coming from? There we go. Oh, creepiness. Bollocks. I don't know if they can come in here. I hope not, because that would be a dick move. Okay, I think we're good. But yeah, it's just like his other place. Can't activate that one. Technical manuals. Random spatters of blood. Just checking. Ah, here we go. This should be something. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Image received. It looks like it's about me. It is. Did a quick scan. There's a few newspaper stories about your investigations. Seems more to it than that. Indeed. Oh, here they come. The siege has begun. Five. Ah, I like my stick. I'll get the stick. I prefer the stick. The stick is good. It's comparable to the crowbar. But Captain Stick just sounds weird. Okay, I'm going to get the fuck out of here before any more spawn. Right. Wow. How did you even do that? It's almost like he magically passed through it, like it wasn't supposed to be there. Uh. I can't take this anymore. Hello? My ears. My hands. Someone doesn't sound happy. Someone walking out there. Here they come. Oh, saw that coming. Let me 
to find an axe. Which basically means I have to beat people to death until they show up with an axe. I remember this very, very, very well because I've done it many times. It's not fun. Come on. They're going to start showing up soon. There they come. There they come. There they come. Yep. Get back. This is this is where we hold them. Fuck off. Haha, <laughs> fight. Yeah. You fight each other. Fuck off. There we go. I'm busy. Oh. <laughs> He's hiding from that guy. I know, right? It's fucked up. Ow, you bastard. Oh, thank you. Ow. Go away. We have to wait for them to show up with an axe. So we have crowbar, shovel. Um, I think one will have a sledgehammer. Obviously, they're going to go through all four. We're not doing too badly. We have two two health kits. Oh shit! I'm trying to gauge where that which direction that's coming from. I think it's coming from over here. Yep. Fuck hell! I missed that completely. Oh. Right, these guys are these guys are small fry. I don't care. When we run out here, there's another um, health kit station somewhere, which I'll have to go look for, which would be dicey. But we have to stick at least here for now. Maybe not take that health kit too lightly. Here it comes. Yep, there's the sledgehammer. Shit. Okay. Yep. Okay, sledgehammer. Yep. So there should be the axe soon, somewhere. Ow, you prick. I didn't even kick then. What the hell happened? I didn't press the kick button for once. It's best to ignore the stats for weapons, by the way, now, because the stick, which was given to us by. Um, Pierced Face McGee, or whatever the fuck his name is, um, is actually magically better than pretty much everything. Whoa! Son of a bitch! Oh, thank you. Thank you! I could just let him do his thing for now. Seriously, just exchange these guys for Molded, and you've got Resident Evil 7. Boom. Ow! Motherfucker. Ow, you bastard. We can take, I think, two hits. There's the axe. Thank you. Now, I don't know if it stops if we do this or not. But it should stop now. Where's my stick? Give me my stick back. Right. It should be done now. Look at this. Look at this bullshit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. In the space of a few minutes. Oh, guy's a monster. Oh, this is where we were before. I thought I recognised it. We have to now look for... I want to say Carl Anderson? The torturer? Is he here somewhere? That's pleasant. Oh, yes. Metal piece. 
Because why the fuck not? We're nearly full of snacks. That's the attic. Is that the attic? Yeah, that's the attic. Yeah, he's here somewhere. Where the hell was he? Ah. Might as well. Waste not, want not. Oh, Christ. There he is. And there he is. Excellent. He is now thoroughly dead. You have to you have to think, he's kind of um you can't really take what he dishes out, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna pause that there as we'll stop this. Because we're very close to the end, so I'm gonna space it out a little bit more. Um and yeah, like it says, find serial killer X and the torturer. It's telling me to push the piano even though I've done that with my mind. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's getting fun. And I will see you in the next video, which I'll film right after this. So yeah, uh, I'll see you then. Bye.